Yo, what's going on guys? It is me, Morvi, and I'm here with another achievement update. Today, we are doing Prisma Puzzle Prime. Originally, this game sat at a hefty 3,000 gamer score with a Windows version, but now, with an update, we're looking at 4,000 gamer score apiece. As always, this is the complete guide. If you're only here for the update, then please check the description as I put a timestamp there that will take you to exactly where you need to. As always, if this guide helped you out or if I put Prisma Puzzle Prime on your radar, then please hit that like button. And if you want to see more, smash that red button. But other than that, let's jump into this guide. So this is the puzzle. We need to get from the starting crystal to the pyramid. Along the way, we need to collect the stars that are placed on the floor. Move the beam of light to the pyramid and we'll get our first achievement, task one. On level two, we are introduced to numbers placed on the floor. We are given a certain amount of moves each level and these numbers on the floor will give us extra moves. Most of the time, they are crucial to completing the level. When picking up our first extra moves, we will get our next achievement, task two. Follow along to what I'm doing on screen and we can finish up the level. On level 3, we've got a few Cheevies to grab. Okay, now on level 3, take the path I'm doing on screen now. We're going to ignore the additional moves and we're going to push on to the end. Obviously, we haven't got enough moves, so we're going to fail. Pop in the achievement, task 8. We are now going to tap B until we get back to the beginning of the level. Then we'll get our next achievement, task 10. This is to go backwards five times. Follow the path I'm taking now and we can finish up this level. For the next level, we're going to purposely fail. Follow the path I'm taking now and we'll back ourselves into a dead end and this will unlock our next achievement, task 9. We're now going to restart and complete the level. At the end of this level we're going to get two achievements for completing the whole stage and for getting all of the stars in the red stage. If you followed what I did on the screen you will also have banked these achievements as well. Congrats. I did originally complete this level without getting the three stars. That's why my achievements look a bit strange on the screen now. I then went back and did the level with three stars and I've just placed the achievements on top. Don't worry, I'm not hacking. Okay, so now we get to select our next area we're going to go to and we're going to go to green zone one. On the first level, we are met with cannons. The first cannons you use will get the next achievement, task five. Follow what I'm doing on screen and I'll meet you on the next level. There's no achievements attached to this level, so follow along with what I'm doing and I'll meet you on the next level. This level has a barrier we need to unlock. If you follow what I'm doing on screen and press the red cube, we'll get the next achievement, task 7. And at the end of this level, we'll get another achievement. Task 15. This is to collect 20 stars and this will unlock our first challenge level. Now we're going to be finishing up this stage and at the end we'll get the achievement of completing the green zone and collecting all of the stars within the green zone. There's not much more to talk about on this one so I'll leave you to follow along and I'll pop back up in the next area. Once the achievement has popped, we're going to go over to the purple zone marked with the number one. And that's the purple zone we're going to complete. When in the next zone, there's a bunch of achievements for us to grab. This zone we're introduced to crystals. Follow along on screen and we'll break our first crystal, getting the achievement, task four. By completing the second stage of the purple zone, we'll get the achievement, task 16, for picking up 30 floor stars.
This stage doesn't have any achievements attached to it, so push on through and I'll meet you on the next level. Okay, now the final stage does look a little bit daunting, but don't you worry. Follow along and we can easily bag the achievement for completing the purple stage and for collecting all of the stars in this stage. Easy peasy. Right, so we've only got two zones left to complete, so the next one is yellow zone. We're going to go over to the yellow zone, marked with the number one. When entering the yellow levels, we are now introduced to teleporters. Follow along what I'm doing on screen now, and we'll make our way over to the teleporter. It will teleport us over to the other side of the room, getting us the achievement, task six. Finish up the level, and we can push on to level two. Okay, I'll be honest, there isn't much more to do on the yellow stages apart from collecting all of the stars and completing all the levels. So I'm going to be quiet for the next couple of levels and I'll meet you on the next stage. We are now at our final stage. We're going to go over to the blue zone marked with the number one. Now, the blue zone is pretty much a mishmash of everything that we've learned so far. We've got teleporters, we've got switches, we've got everything that we've had so far. So follow along what I'm doing on screen and we can blast straight on through them. A little bit further on, I'm also going to show you how to get the 1000 points achievement. So follow along and I'll meet you up in a minute.
So I went on to the final level of the blue stage and it looks like this. It's a bit of a mess. There is a lot going on. And as you can see, as I was trying to fumble my way around this map, uh, I was like, right, I'm going to finish up and see what happens. So I'm trying to collect all the points I can because I actually misread the achievement. I thought we had to get 1,000 points in one level, whereas we actually have to collect 10,000 points across all levels. So as you can see, I finish this level up and I get the achievement for completing the blue zone. And I also get the achievement for 10,000 points. So I thought I'd show you that. So by now, if you're doing this level, you should also get the achievement for 10,000 points. Now, let me show you how to complete the game and get three stars on this level. It is update time, so we're going to pick up where we left off and just by turning the game on, we will unlock three new achievements. Now, once they are completely popped, we can move on to the final two. Now, we're going to have to complete another round before we unlock the dark stage. The one I picked was the green, furthest on the right, down the bottom. I completed these four, which I'm telling you right now are some of the easiest levels I've ever played. And then once we're through them, we can unlock the dark stage. As I said, these are super duper easy. You literally just have to follow the stage. There's no puzzle with these levels. They are super duper easy. The dark stages, uh, not as easy, I'll, I'll be honest. But follow along, get these four levels complete, and then I'll meet you back up when we've got the dark stages unlocked. And there we have it, we have unlocked the dark stage. Now to unlock these last two achievements, we have to complete all four of the dark stage levels and collecting every star on them, totaling to 12 stars. This isn't hard, but you do have to go a very specific route to pick up all the stars to get that achievement. So follow along exactly what I'm doing. I went a little bit slower, so it's easier for you guys to follow along. Do that and that 100% is yours. Now I'm gonna let you carry on now to get that 100% and I'll see you at the end of the video.
And that is the end of my guide. If you are still here, then thank you so much for watching. If I helped you out in any way, or if I put Prism Puzzle Prime on your radar, then please hit that like button and let me know down in the comment section. If you want to see more of my videos, please hit the red button. I am so, so close to 5,000 subscribers. Thank you to everyone that's jumped on board. I am going to do a 5,000 subscriber video when I hit it. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for that one. As I said in my last guide, I've got a bunch of guides coming out as I've kind of been letting the side down recently and not been putting out walkthroughs. So I've got a lot of backlog. I just haven't been getting my editing in order. So I am back and I'm here to get that 1 million gamer score. But until next time, I have been Morvi and I'll see you later. Happy hunting.